Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of How to Fly the Zebo 737 800 aircraft in Newcastle to Copenhagen. Today you're going to be seeing us descend from flight level 350 down into final into Copenhagen. It was quite a hard landing, but I hope you guys do a little bit better than me. Um, but yeah, if you do enjoy this series, we're going to be doing an Airbus one very soon. Like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the Airbus one. Peace. Right now, as we've just passed our top of descent, we can descend to uh, 3,000 feet. We can go down to 3,000 feet here, so we'll get that in there. We'll go at us quite a quick rate. Um, welcome to today's video as well, guys. Well, this video. <laughs> Sorry I didn't introduce there. But we can go down to 3,000 feet. If we need to, we can hold. Um, it is a possibility that we are able to hold. So we'll get our V-speed going up here. We'll go out around about 3,000 feet per minute. And we'll get the speed brake out. So that's basically all you do. You put your altitude in here. You can either press this button next to it or you can use click the VS and do that. Now what you want to do is on your descent you want to go into init ref index and you want to go on to approach. Once you're in here you want to set your selected flap so we want to go flaps 30 so we'll just click on that. We'll put it into there. Now as you see here 110 decimal 50 you want to put that as I was speaking about in the last video down here 110 decimal 50 that one's going there you want to click the middle button and it'll select it and you'll have that in there now this number here next to it which is the course you want to set this over here so we want to be 0 0.37 you want to put that in both sides as well um, just so that all lines up and you're able to do the ILS if you are doing it so you want to put that in there uh, we are descending so seatbelt signs are on um, and we are descending at a steady rate which is beautiful so now what we're going to do is we'll see you when we are on the arrival but firstly what you want to do is go over here you want to put in the airport so we are doing EKCH. I'm gonna put that in there. Click OK. Go down to the bottom. So Q&H is one zero two two. One zero two two. It comes up at the bottom, just under STD. It comes underneath, and you go one zero two two HPE. So after that, you wanna have that put in, and then you are able. To continue, we will see you when we're about to be turning final. With us about being locked on to final now, uh, once we are connected with the glide, we will go gears down. Make sure when we turn off lights are on, make sure taxi light stays off for now until you have landed and vacated the runway, and then you can get taxi light off and turn these four switches off. So we should be about to connect on the final now. Very soon it's going to turn us at the last minute. So we'll just wait for that. So there we go, we're on the VOR lock. Underneath that you want to click APP, APP, which is approach. And that will get you descending with the glide. You want to bring your head in round as well. On the final, we're connected with the glide, we will go gear down. So your gear will start to come down. We'll also go flaps 15 at this time, which will extend the flaps a little more. With this um, now being said, we are flaps 15 descending through, um, as you see, the runway in front of us just there. Beautiful. Um... Now we will slow down to 160 until 4 nautical miles and then we can go 
127, which is our final speed. We'll, not, we'll go flaps 25. Just getting them last bit of flaps in. Now we'll go in that. Go flaps 30, which is our flaps full. Still going to be turning us on. And we can now slow down to 127. So you, you'll see now this the throttle quadrant will now be pulling back. Our speed will start to go down too. So speed's coming down. We are looking stable. About 1,700 feet. We're looking good up to now. Uh, now what you want to do is, is that around about 4 nautical miles where I am now. You want to click disengage which is going to disengage your autopilot. Make sure you have control the uh, yoke. Which is this which I'm connected onto. And you just want to stay with it. And nicely descend with the glide so I would say I have control once I took it and um, with 1,000 feet we'll take out the old throttles and we'll have the throttles on us so we're a little bit shaky in the Copenhagen today Gonna maintain this. Should be getting a um, call out of 1,000 feet. Stabilize miss approach altitude set. 1,000 feet stabilized missed approach altitude set. There we go. So we're at 1,000 feet. We'll disengage our auto throttle. Now I have control of the throttles. The throttles on final is what controls. Um, your altitude so as you see we're a little bit high and put that nose down and we'll bring over we'll bring the throttles back which is going to make us have a descent rate and we'll come back up as well now stable we'll put a bit of thrust in now get us back to that 127 where we want to be 400 feet be a little high that's okay but you don't really want to um, be that high I'm normally low so a little different mine Approaching minimums. 200. we'll see minimums continue minimums. continue One. 100 feet so we are just over 50, landing 30, or touchdown zone 20, you want to maintain that center line 10 yeah. feet 5 bring back and just bring the nose up a little bit and we have touchdown reverse is full and your braking systems will bring in here as you see reverse is green and um, we'll go manual braking 80 knots 80 knots reverse is out and we'll bring the manual braking off so that is how you do your landing obviously not as bad as that one hopefully guys hopefully you can land it better so as we've landed we'll continue ahead um, as we can vacate straight uh, and it'll bring us closer to the terminal. So guys, welcome to Copenhagen. With that being said, we can bring speed brake in. As you see now, the speed brakes are down and we will start bringing the flaps up. Flaps up to zero. Um, you'll start seeing these come up now. With that done now, landing lights off, when we turn off lights off, taxi light on. 
and we'll just come on the um, brakes a little bit more and we'll vacate here as we could use the full runway as we're not on ATC we did have ATC we could have should have really vacated a little faster than there but with that now landed we can get our APU bleed on over here and we can start turning on the APU so that will start turning on you can see it go red above and the style should start moving um, as it should give it a couple of seconds as it's putting fuel into the APU after power unit is now starting we can press that master caution um, and now we can turn off that that's turned off and the overhead is good for now and um, we can bring this back to zero if you want um, you are able to pull that back to zero we'll cross runway here and we'll just pick a gate to go to this is Copenhagen scenery I'm getting pretty bad frames um, and I do need to check what I've got but yeah this is a real route in real life guys so if you do want to fly this route um, feel free to obviously I'm going to put it in the description like I said but guys um, we'll show you how to connect the GPU and we'll park just in front of us here at stand one well bravo one seven we'll keep coming ahead I like going to the outside view just to see where I am with this as well you can turn off taxi light because you don't want to blind the people on the ground we can pull ahead it lets us and we will put our parking brake on and we will park there beautiful parking so the APU is on now we'll switch over to that engine 1 can come off engine 2 can come off we'll get parking brake on so these can stay how they are we can get the fuel pumps off a set from one so you want to go over here ground services set the chalks and connect the GPU and then just want to click that button turn off that and if you look at your overhead you want to turn the logo light off that off wing light off all the all of them can come off turn off all your electrics packs off isolation valve open turn all these off uh, you can also trim the, put the trim air off. All these off. So basically, you want to turn everything off in the aircraft. Um, and yeah, I don't know why the gates aren't working, but we should be getting auto gate. Um, don't know why is auto gate not working? Ah, oh, because the engines are still turning off so once that's done we should start seeing this to come over it takes a while for them to cool down well turn off and um, you could see because it is an aircraft with fueling <laughs> Um, you can't take that away but you can turn the APU off and APU gen oh APU gen off that can all be good you want to turn all these off as well. Your dumper can come off. And oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not what goes on. When you fly your plane, but yeah. <laughs> you just want to flip yourself back over. How do I how do I do this? There you go. You can just do that. <laughs> but yep, engines are off. 
and you are all good. So guys, if you did enjoy this video and this series, um, we'll probably want to be doing an Airbus one very soon. So guys, if you did enjoy today's, well, today's video and you yeah, enjoyed the series of um, doing tutorials, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.